guys, so today I have a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial for you. It's a little bit glittery, a little bit glam, and if you want to find out how I did it, keep watching. Okay, so today I'm going to start by priming my face using the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne, and I'm just going to use about a pea size amount. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation in Porcelain. And I'm going to be putting this on my face with the IT Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush, which I absolutely love. It's really good if you want that airbrushed finish and you don't want to look like a cake face. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer, and today I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Fair. And I'm going to put this underneath my eyes in a triangle shape. Uh, I'm going to use it to prime my eyelids and I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and forehead just to highlight and conceal some discoloration. And then I'm going to blend it out with that same brush that I used for my foundation. Next I'm going to set that concealer underneath my eyes using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and cook it a little bit, cook that concealer. And I'm also going to put that everywhere I put the concealer on my face. So on my chin and on my forehead, just to add a little bit of brightness to the center of my face. I'm also going to use this same product along my jawline to kind of carve out where I'm going to eventually have my contour and just really bring some definition to my face. I really like doing this because it prevents me from having to really heavily contour. For my contour today, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Contour Kit, and right now I'm using the lightest shade in the palette to carve out my cheekbones. And I'm using this sort of flat definer brush that came with the palette, and I'm starting at the top of my ears and angling down towards my mouth, blending upwards to define my cheekbones. I'm also going to use that same shade and brush in my temples to kind of make my forehead, or five head as I like to call it, look a little bit smaller. So I'm going to start it at my hairline in sort of a triangle shape, go down towards the highest point of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to connect those two areas that I just contoured uh, in the center and blend them all together. I'm also going to use a, just a tiny bit of that same contour shade and really lightly contour either side of my nose just to give it a little bit more definition. And to finish up, I'm going to put a little bit underneath my nose and underneath my bottom lip. I'm also going to put a tiny bit of that same shade uh, behind my ears and that's going to really define my jawbone even more. Once you're done with your highlighting and contouring, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, this one's from MIT Cosmetics, and just blend, blend, blend everything together so it looks more natural and just like the natural highlights and shadows that are on your face. And to finish up the face today, I'm going to be using a really subtle um, blush. This is the Becca Beach Tint in the shade Fig Opal. And I'm using this sort of stiff stippling brush because this is a cream product, and I'm just going to lightly put this onto my cheeks. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to start by just putting a cream shadow. This one is from the Stila in the Light palette. It's called Bare. And I'm just going to put it all the way from my lash line up to my eyebrow. This is going to set that concealer that we use to prime the eyelid. Next, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geeks, Peaches and Cream, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade, so mainly focusing this in the crease uh, so that the rest of my shadows will blend really nicely. Next, to define the crease even further, I'm going to use a little bit fluffier of a blending brush and Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear to add a little bit more depth to my crease area. I'm 
Then, using a Morphe pencil brush, I'm going to take a dark matte purple shade. This one's from the Tarte Energy Nora palette, and I'm going to sort of concentrate that color on the outer corner and the outside half of my crease. Now, don't worry about this being too messy. You're just using the pencil brush to put the color down, and then you're going to go back in with that same fluffy brush and blend, blend, blend. Moving on to the lid, using a flat shader brush, I'm putting on Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Whimsical. This is a really pretty soft lilac color. And I'm going to put this just on the mobile part of the lid, so below the crease colors that we just put down. I'm going to also avoid the corner where we put that purple too. Then I'm going to go over that Whimsical with the Too Faced shadow insurance glitter glue and I'm just going to use a tiny bit on that same brush and just pat it into the lid and then the star of the show makeup geek sparklers in Aurora I'm just going to pat that down over where I put whimsical this is an absolutely gorgeous finely milled glitter that is sort of lilac and reflects silver it's perfect for New Year's Eve and I love it Finish off the top of the eye, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Shima Shima to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner on a pencil brush. Now, it wouldn't be New Year's Eve without a fierce wing, so for my eyeliner today, I'm using the Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof, and I'm going to start by lining just above my lash line. Um, I'm going to go about three quarters of the way uh, towards the inner corner, not all the way into my tear duct. And I'm going to start by just lining that area, and then I'm going to draw a line um, out from the side and connect it to my lash line. And then over top I'm going to draw a tiny little triangle and fill it in. I then am going to coat my top lashes using my favorite Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced before I pop on some falsies. Today for lashes I'm using these Exaggerate lashes from Eyelure and I've actually trimmed these to make them three quarter lashes just because on my eyes I feel like it's too much to wear a full lash and these add just the right amount of flare. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take that same matte purple shade that I used in the outer corner on a really tiny shader brush and I'm going to rub this along my lower lash line about to the end of my iris, similar to where my eyeliner ends but on the lower lash line. Then using a pencil brush and Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear, I'm going to blend that out make it a little bit smoky. Then using a pencil eyeliner, I'm going to line my waterline. And to finish off this eye look, I'm going to be using the NYX The Skinny Mascara to define my lower lashes. I'm going to be highlighting today using Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop on this enormous fan brush, which I got for Christmas from my best friend. I'm going to be putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and also just above my 
the arch of my eyebrow. For my lips, I want to go with a glamorous red, so for today, I'm going to be lining my lips with the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Ravish, and I'm going to be filling in with the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This was uh, 2015's birthday deal from Sephora, and I really love this red. It stays on all night through eating and drinking and whatever else you're going to be doing on New Year's, and I highly recommend it. So that's pretty much it for my New Year's makeup tutorial. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Comment below with your wishes for 2016, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.